Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Rakesh Negi and I am an aviation enthusiast. Today I am going to discuss about the calculation of pressure altitude. So let's do a calculation and I hope that you will be understanding how to calculate the pressure altitude at the end of this topic. Okay, so let's take an example. Suppose there is a certain condition where the QNH is 1023 and field elevation elevation is 3000 feet okay so in this case calculate the pressure altitude pa okay so we'll calculate the pressure altitude so how to calculate the pressure altitude uh, so i'm carrying out the solution we should know that friends a difference in one hectopascal is equivalent to 30 feet okay in some books it's given 27 feet in some it's 28 feet but approximately let's take it as 30 feet for the purpose of our calculations okay now we know that QNH is given 1023 suppose at the sea level okay the QNH is 102 3 which is given this one. so this is given the question so this is a sea level okay now from the sea level what is the elevation given field elevation is 3000 feet so suppose this is the field suppose okay so this is having how much elevation 3000 feet let's calculate the pressure altitude so to calculate pressure altitude we know well pressure altitude it is measured from the standard pressure level and how much is the standard pressure that is 1013.25 hectopascal so let's assume it as 1013 for the purpose of calculation so now the question is 1013 will be above this or below this so to find out remember in my previous video i have told you that as altitude increases pressure decreases so here altitude is increasing so pressure will be decreasing so that means 1013 will not come below this 1023 it will come above this so here we are having the 1013 hectopascal okay that is the standard pressure 0.25 for the purpose of calculation we can even assume 1013 but to make it more clear i have written 1013.25 hectopascal okay so that is the pressure that is the standard pressure at the sea level now from this level okay from this standard pressure level okay from here till here here till here this is the pressure altitude pressure altitude okay so this we have to calculate we know well this much is 3000 feet if we find out this this one we can easily calculate so let's find out this one so to find out this we know well a fall in pressure of 1 hectopascal is equal to 30 feet. So how much fall is there in this pressure from 1023? So now let's calculate what is the fall in the pressure. It is 1023 minus 1013. How much will be? 10. Okay. So 10 hectopascal is the fall in pressure. Okay. So from here till here, how much is the pressure falling? 10 hectopascal. So if there is a fall in pressure of 1 hectopascal, it is equal to 30 feet. Now, for fall in pressure of 10 hectopascal, how much will be the altitude? It will be 10 into 30. Okay, 10 is the difference. Okay, 10 is the fall in pressure from 1023 13.25 hectopascal. Okay, and 30 is the what is this 30? This one fall in 1 hectopascal is equal to 30 feet so this is 30 so 10 into 30 is 300 feet okay so here altitude is 300 feet so this we have to find out this much is 300 feet okay so from here to here if it's 300 feet and from here to here it is 3000 feet so friends to calculate pressure altitude what we will do we will subtract this with this so how much will be the pressure altitude 
pressure altitude will be equal to this length how much is the this length 3000 okay minus this much okay that is 300 so equal to 2700 feet so this is the pressure altitude hence our answer is this 2700 feet okay so pressure altitude which is measured from the standard pressure level that is 101.25 it is how much in this case 2700 feet so i hope it is clear to you how to calculate the pressure altitude when you are given a certain q energy and field elevation we'll come up again with a new topic in the next session till then enjoy learning and stay tuned thank you